So it's been a while, lads. It's been a long yeah. while. Uh, and we uh, haven't uh, spoken about this stuff in, I don't know, how long has it been since the last one? I have no idea. Was, wasn't the last one on Sonic Prime? Yeah, that was in Sonic Prime. I think so. Which yeah, is, it was. Uh, yeah, it's the new Netflix series coming out. But we are not talking about the Netflix series. We are talking about the movie sequel. Oh, the good stuff. Now, I am doing this late because of two simple reasons. Every time there is a damn leak or a reveal for this film, it always has to happen early in the morning or when I'm at work. That's the sad part. And I have to wait all day so we can talk about this. So starting off with uh, this morning, uh, this morning, we got a... I wouldn't say a reveal because it's not official. It's leak, right? Because it's, it's, you know, set yes. photos. Knuckles is in the film. I know, right? And as I said to you just before, privately, before the call, mm -hmm. that I'm surprised he's been revealed just now. I would have thought they would have done, like, revealed him in Sonic 3. You know, because... Yeah. That that's I, I thought they might be following the games like that. That's why I thought. Yeah, I thought uh, so too. Same, but ever since they you know revealed tales in the first film as a as an Easter, well not just as an Easter egg, but as a post credits, I figured that they would start bringing in more new stuff in the new film. So, yeah, I'm guessing that. So besides all of that, can we talk about Knuckles' design? Because apparently people are pissed off. Really? Yes. Um, yeah, so I like it because it because I remember when in 2014 when Sonic Boom got revealed and everyone fucking shat on it. And yeah, because of like, the, the buff design. I like the design because it looks too buff. Now I'm fine with it, but before I used to hate it. But to be honest, I don't see what's wrong with this design. It's actually perfect. No, nah. because it's got classic design, but also got a little bit of buffiness, like what he's supposed to be. That's what it, that's yeah, what he's supposed to be like the, the he's supposed to be the muscle of the team. You've got yeah. so you've got Sonic, who's the leader. You have Tails, who's the brains, and now you have the muscle, which is Knuckles. The well, one th I like what? Uh, sorry, I, I liked him more in, so in Sonic Boom though, because yeah, his personality Boom, was the, was the best. He was both. He was like a bit of brains, but mostly muscle. Yeah, I hope Knuckles isn't stupid in this one though. I doubt it because the prop itself ma ha makes him have a very serious expression. I guess I don't know, but again, it's Maybe just a prop. Maybe you'll be more like Sonic OVA, uh, Knuckles. Probably. Probably. But... That's, that's, yeah. well, but no, yeah, was, um, what? <laughs> no, carry on, carry on. <laughs> okay, so, no, I was gonna say, the, the one thing that people are pissed off, and I feel like this is the stupidest complaint I've ever heard from someone. He doesn't have his white collar on his chest. Oh. Fuck off. He <laughs> that is the one problem that I've seen people complain about. He doesn't have the white collar. This is the same situation with Sonic Boom when Sonic had blue arms. <laughs> yeah. No <laughs> <laughs> fucking what's up, bro. <laughs> people are literally saying he doesn't have the white collar. But again, I kept reminding myself this is just a movie prop. They're only using this as a stand-in for when, you know, the CGI is fully in, they're gonna put the actual model. People actually think this is what he's gonna look like. It's just a red blob with a face. <laughs> I'm actually I actually took it serious for once. I'm like, why are people acting stupid? This is only a CG model. They, and we know this because that Sonic model that's on the screen right now, well, you guys can't see it. Okay. But, he, but he has a white tummy on this thing, and we all know that in the first film, he does not have a white tummy. Mm. So, to people, be honest, people just need to calm down. <laughs> yeah. Now that I look at the design, I'm not gonna lie, it does look a bit weird without the whiteness, but as you said, it's just a prop, so... Yeah, so... In, oh. Yeah, like, again, keep in mind, the same thing with the eyes, like, they're all just black pupils... But keep in mind, in the actual film, I'm guessing they're gonna give them, you know, an iris and actual pupils, like different coloured. So okay. also, also, tails doesn't have his hair nor his uh, tail, so they'll probably add his white collar. The, the tails uh, on tails, <laughs> get it? The tails on tails. Um, yeah, I'm guessing they just didn't put them on just so that they could have the statue itself balance 
when standing up. But what about his hair, though? Oh, his yeah, hair, yeah, that's just part of I'm the fur texture, photos, so... They look really cool. I'm looking at this photo, the one with the destroyed pup. Yeah. That looks cool. I, I think there's going to be an epic scene. Yeah, and I, I said this this morning before, you know, agreeing to making a, uh, you know, a video on this. But I did say that, and well, let's get into the next topic at this point. Gun is also being introduced in this film. Which is surprising. Will they try to weaponize Sonic? I don't think so, but I just want to you know, talk about Gun for a second. Gun was introduced in what? Sonic Adventure One? Or was it Adventure uh, Two? Yeah, because I can't remember. Sonic Adventure. I think it was Adventure Two. It was probably Adventure Two, but my qu my my question is, why is Gun being introduced so early? Like, I don't have a, I don't mind it that they're being introduced so early, but. I, f I find it weird that they're being introduced in the second film, out of all things. Because introducing Shadow... Uh, Shadow... Uh, introducing Gun brings up the possibility of having Shadow in this, in this film. I don't think so. Well, keep in mind, Shadow's backstory does involve with Gun. And not just that, but also you're bringing in Eggman's grandfather involved with it as well. But then if Shadow's going to be in it, then does that mean that Rouge is going to be in it? Because Rouge is... She's like the agent mostly... for Gun. Yes, exactly. I doubt they'll go that far for this, but... Uh, I have to ask you guys this question. What is your reaction to seeing Gun in the film? Um, to be honest, at first I didn't really know because I, I completely forgot what they were. But now that you reminded me, yeah, it's actually really cool. They're bringing back like Sonic Adventure stuff. So it makes me wonder, is the villain today the... Oh, I'm sorry, I've got a mint in my mouth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can't talk. Okay, so is the villain in this movie going to be Eggman again? Or Probably. Could they... Well, yeah, obviously it's going to be, but is there going to be another villain? Are they going to bring in... Uh, who is that water villain? Uh, Chaos, no? Uh, I don't think so we don't know. Well, the Chaos Emeralds were teased in the first film, which does bring up the possibility that he is part of the, you know, he's part of the law. He's part of this universe now. <laughs> and did you say Shadow was confirmed for this movie? No, I haven't said he was confirmed, but because his backstory is tied to Gun, because he's like this experiment that was being kept a secret for years. Under guns protection, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So that that does raise the question. And after all, Gun is the one that's always after Sonic, after Shadow. Confusing. I don't know how it works because one's blue, one's black. I don't get it. But if they do bring yeah, in that, Sonic, Captain Sonic. That's my yeah. my other thing because in the first film, the government went uh, after. The house that he was staying in and they were looking for him so they could bring that i don't know i just really want to see tales though <laughs> yeah so besides that i also want to know what your reactions was because the, one of the uh vehicles for gun which is the helicopter has two two or three references to adventure 2 the first one being on the top of the helicopter that literally just says sa2 so and we all know what sa2 stands for am i right sonic advance 2 Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. It's Sonic Advance 2. But yeah, uh, it refers to Sonic Adventure 2. But it can also be the name of the helicopter that is, you know, dro name dropped at the beginning of the game, which is Sigma Alpha 2. Probably just yeah. a reference to both. It can be a breve reference to both. And the other Easter egg is on the tail of the plane. Nathan, I don't know if you noticed this. But the tail mm -hmm. of the plane has the exact release date of Adventure 2. Oh, yeah. Um, wasn't it, I can't remember the month, but wasn't it like something 01? It was in 2001. I think it was June? June it was July? Good. Yay! <laughs> of 2001? Um, it's probably June. Yeah, I think it was, I think it was June. 
June 9th, June 18th, I think it was. Mm. Uh, I may I may be wrong with that. I don't know. But yeah, gun is introduced. Uh, what role will they serve? We don't know. But yeah, guns in this film, and I don't know what's gonna go down. All I know is that because they're filming in the same town <laughs> as the first film, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like a war going on down there. But what though? I don't know. I can't wait to see this movie though. Mm, same here. So yeah, besides all of this, we also have another picture of a oh, restaurant well, uh, a restaurant called Mean Bean. I mean, uh, I mean come on, you can't, can't Mean Bean as in a reference to the game bean. Do, Come on. This is a, this is a great easter egg. But the one thing that I am um, it's not what? it's not an egg. It's not an egg, it's a bean. It's a mean bean. Yeah, yeah mean what? bean machine. He's a mean bean machine. You don't want to mess with a mean bean machine, do you? No. Because he's a mean bean machine. Yes. But now, the one set image that really throws me off is the fact that Jim Carrey... Obviously, he's back, obviously. But obviously. Which is funny, because Jim Carrey doesn't really like to star in the same role twice. Not really, but for some reason, this one really did bring him back. But the one thing that's throwing me off is... Well, it's not one. There's multiple things. One, he's flying for some reason. He's magic. <laughs> he, magic. Two, he's wearing the black suit again instead of his signature red one that we saw him last in the film. Does that maybe, mean, maybe a flashback or something? Maybe he's Eggman Negger. I don't think so because in this picture he is bald and he does have the big mustache. <laughs> so yeah, overall thoughts. Because there's not really a lot to talk about right now, we do have a lot of you know set videos and everything about you know the behind the scenes of this one, which I'll probably be playing in the background. But uh, my overall, so far, like, what are your, what are your thoughts on introducing Knuckles and Gun into this film? A little uh, bit too early, don't you think? You think it's too early? I mean, I, I think maybe they should have done it at a later time, but I don't see anything particularly wrong. It depends how the story is going for. If it's done right, I have no problem with it. I, I am saying that I don't think they're just going to skip everything and then going to start, you know, with the Sonic Adventure 2 story. I feel like they're just going to get some elements from every game and they're just going to make something original. Sorry. Also, I hope I see, we see more of Son Sonic's world, and I think you know what I mean by Sonic's world. Yeah. Another thing about that... I hope we see that, more of that. Yeah, another thing is that they're also filming in a snowy mountain, which, come on, we cannot have a snowy mountain in a Sonic film that is definitely not called Ice Cap. You cannot have that. Oh, I love the theme of Ice Cap from uh, Sonic... Sonic 3. Yeah. So, because they're filming on a snowy mountain with huskies, so love it. <laughs> uh, you definitely cannot have. Oh, sorry, I was you cannot have a snowy mountain section that is not called Ice Cap. Oh, that was skateboards. And the snowy mountains will say, wow, guys, look at that Ice Cap. You hmm. know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. My one question is, because they actually filmed the first film in San Francisco and they are now introducing gun into this, can we please get the gun truck chase sequence from Adventure 1? Whoa, and, oh. and have Crush 40 in the background singing Escape from the City. Can we have that? <laughs> I swear to God, if this film does not have it, I will sue them. <laughs> Did you say there was going to be a car chase scene? There's, there is a chase scene. Actually, there, there's a police chase scene involving, a, I'm guessing, a bank heist, I don't know, uh, in the city. So, I don't know if it's basically that, but we'll have to wait and see. Anywho, that's all we have to talk about. You know, hopefully we get more news about the film. And, you know, the writers did say that the trailer is going to be better than the first film. So, we're just going to have to wait and see. So, yeah, we're ending it off today. So, yeah. Without further ado, don't forget to check out the other stuff. And uh, hopefully we get more news on this film soon. Adios. Adios. Bye-bye. Adios. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.